Now, the Bible, you call yourself a Bible-believing Christian. Are you really? Do you really believe the Bible? The Bible says days are going to wax worse and worse. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean concerning your behavior? You know that days are going to wax worse and worse. Men are going to wax worse and worse. What do you do in the light of that? In light of the fact that this world is heading for very deep trouble, how do you live your life? Are you involved in a small group of individuals where your relationships are being strengthened, where your commitment to know God and to hear from God and to relate to one another in a godly way? Are you preparing yourself for hard times? Are you preparing your grandchildren? Are you preparing your kids? Are you stealing your life, getting ready for difficult times? Are you helping your church to get ready for difficult times that may come? If you're a wise person, you're getting ready. If you're a foolish person, you're allowing the warnings of Scripture to go in one ear and out the other. I pray to God that our congregation is a congregation of people who once again, we are wise as serpents and we are gentle as doves. And we have our ear to the word of God and we have our ear to the ground and we realize that we are living in very uncertain days. We look at the leadership that we have in Washington. It is unreliable leadership. I don't care whether they got an R or a D after their name. Washington, D.C. is filled with the unreliable. The Lord Jesus Christ is reliable. Let's be a people that allow our lives to be led by the Messiah and not by human government. Let's draw near to the Lord. Let's let our roots go deep into him. And let's overcome because we're trusting in the blood of the Lamb. We have a testimony and we are loving the creator of our life more than life itself.